What's good? It's your boy Fanon. Well, add Roy Jones Jr. to a list of people that does not think that Anthony Joshua is ready for Deontay Wilder. So the article came out in Boxing Scene. And actually, I had done just done another video, man, because I had been, you know, reading my comments in my comment section from you very, 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 very casual boxing fans. And by casual, I mean that, you know, you're not going to spend a whole lot of time thinking about what you actually say or looking up and trying to pay attention to what somebody actually said and what actually happened. You know, you just kind of read the he- the headlines and. You like Anthony Joshua, so you run your mouth. I understand. You know, I was that way when I was 11, 12 years old, too. You know, hey, it is what it is, man. My, I like Sugar Ray Leonard. My dad said Roberto Duran. He liked Roberto Duran. He liked Tommy Hearns. And I was like, no, you know, no, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard. But then, you know, you go some years later and you realize, hey, Sugar Ray Leonard didn't fight uh, Aaron Pryor. He did... Um, he did Marvel and Hagler dirty, and he got a little bit of a prima donna style to him. But, you know, sometimes you just don't pick that up, you know, until several years down the road. So I can understand you guys and your casuality and <laughs> and why you might not get that this whole thing is ab- – this whole conversation is absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, it just makes like – it just really does make Anthony Joshua look to me. And this is just my opinion. It makes him look like a paper champ. You know, he's somebody. And even when you hear Floyd, uh, Roy Jones Jr. say what he said, he said, and I'll go through it. It makes him sound like, you know, Roy Jones Jr. knows that this guy's not ready. So, you know, it is what it is, man. I'm hoping that the fight gets made. I want to see good fights. I want to see unification of the heavyweight division and for there to be one man at the top of the heavyweight division. And who it is, whoever it is, that's who it is. I can root for one fighter, I can root for another fighter, and hope that that's the case, but really more than anything, I just want to see the top guy at 140 pounds, 100, excuse me, in the heavyweight division, be considered the the top guy at the heavyweight division. And so let me go through what Roy Jones said, and also what Anthony Joshua said, which is just, like, this dude's like pinballs, man. He says one thing and then he says something else and he it's like this thing contradicts the other thing. And I don't mean contradictory in the way like you're just contemplating, right? And you're not you're talking out loud and you're not made up your mind. I mean saying things like that literally are contradicting uh, contradictory. So anyway, before I do that, I'm trying to I'm going to try my absolute best to do a live stream today. My work schedule has been absolutely bananas. Uh and so I'm going to try to do one later today, but thank you to everybody that has supported the cause that supports uh, in the, the super chats that we've done that watch the videos. I know I do longer videos and there's commercials in the videos. The reason that I do that is I'm raising funds to help these help some inner city kids that really do have a chance to do some stuff in life if they have the right guidance. And, you know, unfortunately it takes money to do that. And, you know, that's not cheap. So, I raise funds through this through this channel to do that. And I thank you for everybody that has supported in, you know, either directly by watching the video or donating through Super Chat or indirectly by sharing the video with other people. Um, it's been much appreciated. So let me go through these articles real quick. And, you know, what Roy Jones Jr. says. Roy Jones says Joshua should take one or two more fights, then get wilder. Former four-division world champion Roy Jones Jr. would love to see a heavyweight unification between Joshua, Anthony Joshua, and Deontay Wilder, but feels the British superstar should take a few more fights before it happens. Joshua, who holds the IBF, the the IBF, IBO, WBA, WBO titles, is currently in talks for to fight Wilder, and who has the WBC title around his waist. Jones would like to see the 100 and uh, 212, excuse me, two, I'm telling you, man, I've been tired. Uh, 2012 Olympic gold medal winner get more experience before facing an opponent like Wilder. Back in March, jo- Joshua captured his fourth title belt 
with a 12 round unanimous decision over undefeated Joseph Parker in Cardiff, Wales. Of course, I want to see it, but not next. The Jones told Punchlines UK. I'd like to see Joshua get one or two more preparation fights in. I see him on the incline. He's getting better every fight, but I but I want to see him at his peak when he fights Wilder. I think Wilder is kind of at his peak now. I'd like to see both men when they uh there when they fight. One of the hurdles to make Wilder Joshua showdowns is the lo- fight location. Wilder's location is already Wilder's team has already presented a guarantee offered to 50 of 50 million dollars to Joshua for the fight to take place in the United States. But Joshua would still rather fight rather stage the event in the UK where he draw, where he draws record crowds of up to 90,000 fans in a single fight. When it comes to location, Jones has no problem with Joshua standing firm or having the event take in the UK soil. Anthony would be a big Anthony would be a big fight in the states, but if you're make if you're making the sort of noise in the UK Joshua is, then you go then why go to the US where the people are coming to watch you is where you should fight. Jones said, if the British fans want to go to the United States to see him, then fine. Uh, thousands of Brits came to Vegas with Ricky Hatton and when he fought Mayweather. But if I had a choice of fi- in, in fighting in front of 5,000 in the States or 80,000 in the UK, I'm sorry. Now watch this. Listen to what he said carefully because and because when I first read this article, I was like, man, what's is 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 Roy Jones gonna say something that you know is crazy here? Because seriously, man, I want to see this fight and I'm sick of it. I want to see the fight. Make the fight. Let's do the fight. You know, if Anthony Joshua wins, Anthony Joshua wins. If Deontay Wilder wins, Deontay Wilder wins. But come on, man, let's make the fight. This is boxing or fight fans. I've already watched several fights of Anthony Joshua and whether, like I said on this video about thanking, you know, thank you to the people that have, you know, who have supported the channel directly or indirectly. I have supported Anthony Joshua. I have Showtime. He got his damn money from Showtime for fighting on. She got money from Showtime for fighting on Showtime. So I helped pay for that. I am a subscriber to a network that he fights on. I'm sick of seeing it. I want to see the fight that I want to see. And that's Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. Now, when Roy Jones Jr. said that, though, listen to what he says. He's basically saying the dude's not ready. And when he talks about the fans, he said, if I had a choice between fighting 5,000 in the States or 80,000 in the UK, okay, 5,000 in the States, what about 20,000 in the States in Vegas? Would you rather fight 20,000? Would you rather fight in front of 20,000 at the T-Mobile Arena and pull in a gate of $30 million, or would you rather go get a, a gate of $12 million fighting in front of 80 people in the UK, 80,000 people in the UK? Anthony, uh, Roy Jones Jr. would be right where Roy Jones Jr. was in the UK, in the United States, fighting for bigger money. But he said 5,000. If it's 5,000 people, which is, you know, what is that? The ball, is that the ballroom in Madison Square Garden? Is that, that's, I think 5,000 is where you would be watching um, Kovalev, you know, Kovalev fight Shabransky. That, that's a fight that does 5,000. We know that Floyd, just like he said, this will be big. Anthony would be big in the United States. It would be a big fight in the United States. But the most important thing is here. It's what he said here. He's on the Wilders, uh, Deontay Wilders at his peak. And Anthony Joshua is getting better, but he's not there yet. He's not ready. So pretty much that's that's the gist of what he's saying. Look, man, wait one or two fights and don't come to the United States or, and get knocked out. Because <laughs> that's more than likely what's going to happen because you're not as good a fighter as Deontay Wilder is at this point in your career. And maybe if you go and you fight two, three more times, then you might be in a situation where you could be good enough where it'd be a fair fight. That's what that's what that's what Roy Jones Jr. saying. And I don't care. If when you get a belt, you got the belts. What do you need developmental? How does somebody that if he wants to have developmental fights? 
then drop the belts and go have the fight. Give, go across town, go find Tyson Fury, go give Tyson Fury his belts that you're holding, give them back to him, <laughs> and go fight whoever you want to go fight. Just stop calling yourself a champion. Because if you're not going to fight the other only other champion, when you get offered all of that dang money that you asked for, then you're not a champion. You're a paper champion. And it's really, honestly, man, that's what he's looking like. He's looking like a paper champion. Look what he says. I like, I mean, this is what Jones says. Of course I want to see it, but not next. I'd like to see Joshua get one or two more preparation fights in. You do that if you're a prospect, man. You do that if you're a prospect. And I don't know, I mean, Jones, you know, Roy Jones, man, I got a lot of love for Roy Jones Jr. And, you know, hey, man, but we don't always agree. You know, people ain't always going to agree on everything. But, I mean, Roy Jones Jr., 99% of the time, tells it like it is. Uh, Dude clearly knows boxing in the ring a lot better than I do. So if he's saying, hey, this dude needs one or two more preparation fights before he gets in the ring, uh, okay, I can see. I I will go with the pretext that and can agree with, okay, maybe the dude's not, he's not ready for Deontay Wilder. But then don't be a champion. Give up the belts. Not complicated. These are not preparation fights. These are title defenses. He's not, he's not, you want him to have, you want him to fight two or more people that are going to get him ready for somebody else instead of fighting the best. I've never seen, I never have seen Roy Jones do that. Roy Jones Jr. Hey, Roy, would you do that? What would you do, Roy? If you got $50 million to come fight in Vegas and you against the other champion, uh, the only other champion in your division, and you were going to get $50 million that you asked for to do it. Would you go? Oh, well, Roy Jones Jr. You know, Roy, Roy, I'd be there. I'd be there. Yeah. And more than likely, this is an article, some an interview. Somebody asked him something real quick and pat and passing, and he's being wishy washy. You know, not being wishy washy, but trying to be as co- correct and polite as he possibly can be to Anthony Joshua. But the the meat of this thing is right here. He needs two or more fights. You know, he's on the incline. He's getting better. But I want to see him get. I want to see him get at his peak. I think Wilder's at his peak right now, and I like to see both men fight. Uh, both men there uh, for when they fight. Wilder is a mature boxer. So if you had to say off of this, well, and uh, Roy, who do you think is going to win this fight? Well, I'd have to go with Wilder because Anthony Joshua's not ready. He's not in his peak yet. He's not as, he's not good enough yet, or he doesn't have an experience. And that's not an unreasonable to say thing to say, since you have Deontay Wilder has forty fights. And Anthony Joshua has 20 fights. That is how things work. You fight, you get experience, you fight, you get more experience, you fight, you get more experience. But just don't say you're the champion. If you're not, if you need to develop further before you get in the ring with somebody else, then you're not the champion. And I don't care what those belts say. You're not the champion. You're not the best. The best, the champion is supposed to signify who the best is. Which is the problem with all of these doggone uh, sanctioning bodies and all these belts because you never get to know who the best is. It's like the NBA would have, you know, like they would all have divisional championships. Like, well, I'm the, well, I'm the division, the Chicago Bulls are, who's the best? I don't know who the best between the Golden State Warriors are and the um, and the Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers are in the Central Division, and I don't know what the they're in the specific division. Well, you got you know the Cleveland Cavaliers have won how many Eastern Conference championships? Have the, is is um, LeBron James won? Right. I think he's never played in the West. I think he's been to the championship seven times. Right. So that's at least that's probably what seven is that seven Eastern Eastern Conference championships. I'd have to check that out. I know he's won one, two, three championships. He's been to the finals probably two, three other times. So just say, you know, hey, why do we even care about the championship? You know, he's the Eastern Conference champion, right? Oh, you know, John Stockton. John Stockton has championships. He's the Eastern. He's the Western Conference champion. And then just stop it right there and never have him play the Bulls. 
That's what the belt situation is like in, in, in boxing. And even when you hear this rated, like top 10 rated opponents and all that, how does that work? When you have a guy, when you have guys that are the top, like the number one contender in the WBC isn't even ranked by the WBO, right? So a guy is a top 10 contender in the WBC, but he's not a top 10 contender. He's not one of the 10 best guys in boxing when you ask the WBO. That's a farce, man. All of that belt nonsense is honestly the whole champ, multiple championship belt thing is a way to just call, it's just to charge more sanctioning fees to boxers and have a way to sell more champ, quote unquote championship fights to fight fans. At this point, to me, it seems like it's a, a dang near a complete and utter con job. So you have the, so you have Anthony Joshua with three of the belts. But he's not the champion. Deontay Wilder has a uh, has a belt, but he's not the champion. He's a title holder. And Anthony Joshua's a title holder. It's to me, it's damn near like saying until they both fight, it's damn near like saying, well, you know, I'm rated in the top 10 of three different uh, w- of divisions. Like Mark Magsayo at 126 pounds, right? He's, uh, I think he's rated in three in the top 10 of three divi- of three different weight uh sanctioning bodies. And you know, so uh, I'm better than you. I'm better than um somebody else because I'm rated in the top 3 of uh you know, in the top 10 in three different uh divisions, but you're only rated in one. How do you know what difference does that make if you're not going to get in the ring and fight the guy? So, I mean, it's just I don't I understand what Roy Jones Jr. is saying. Also, I think that the fact that I think Roy Jones Jr. might be saying a little bit of this because he's over there at HBO. <laughs> and now I would never call Roy Jones Jr. a company man. I don't think he is. I think he's a saving grace for for um for HBO boxing has been so for a long time. And I've heard him in enough interviews. I've heard him speak enough times to know how he never likes to insult or, you know, he doesn't really like to criticize boxers or other boxers a lot. But I, I, here I am reading in between. I'm not even reading in between the lines on one of these quotes. He said he'd like to see him in one uh, one or two more fights. Isn't that also what um, Teddy Atlas is saying? Teddy Atlas pretty much like, oh, they would be crazy to have. Man, they need to be arrested if they put Anthony Joshua in there with Deontay Wilder right now. If that's the case. Right. And I'm just using my logic as a fight fan. If people don't think that if Anthony Joshua is not ready to fight Deontay Wilder because he needs more preparation fights. And it would be and it would be criminal for Eddie Hearn and uh, Eddie Hearn and the handles of Anthony Joshua to put him in with Deontay Wilder now. Then that tells you he's that that Anthony Joshua is not the champion. He's a prospect that at least Roy Jones Jr. thinks he's a prospect. He thinks he's somebody that needs to get better. He's not quite there. He's not ready. He's not ready to be the best. He can't beat Deontay Wilder. Same thing for Teddy Atlas. It's just that they are supporting it. I mean, and I can understand where Anthony, you know, uh, Roy, Roy Jones Jr. is a fighter. So, I mean, he's not, he's, I guess he's a fan of boxing. I mean, you know, he's, but he's an insider in boxing. From my point of view, I want to know who the champion is. Is the champion Deontay Wilder or is, a, is the champion Anthony Joshua? Who's the champion? I know who, a, who are belt holders, who are title holders. But let's do it, and let's do it now, man. And then let Anthony Joshua pick himself up off the canvas or Wilder pick himself off the canvas and fight again. What better way to get more... Uh, more um, preparation and fighting the best unless you think that this is going to be some situation like michael grant and lennox lewis and i think which i think is ironic for so many people acting like you know michael like deontay wilder was the michael grant and anthony joshua was the lennox lewis no not the way that teddy atlas is talking and not the way that roy jones jr is talking they're acting like this this kid isn't ready and it's a shame man 
Because if he's not ready, he shouldn't hold those belts. He shouldn't he shouldn't be considered the champion. And that's just the way I see it. And my mind's not changing on it. And that's that's it. And with that, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>